All right, so I'm trying to assemble the extruders uh, double like in double the top and lower part. So I start with the extruders. Um, the wire is facing up, and this is going to be the button bottom of the extruder. And uh, then there's this part. So this is extruder um, base. Uh, it may have a little bit of chips here. So I'm going to sand it a little, uh, make sure it's uh, nice and clean. So this extruder is uh, made very easy, uh, and uh, well, it's all metal and it doesn't break. Uh, I have been using it for a very long time and uh, I haven't had any case that it actually fails or breaks because when you look at it, it's so simple, it doesn't have anything to, to break. Alright, so uh, there are two holes here, one, two, these two are going to go this way, so we're facing down and then this part we, we're going to tighten it here. Alright. In order to hold it there, I need two other parts. Uh, it's, a, it's an aluminum bar, 3 8 and a, a milled on one side. All right. So if I want to put it here, it's going to go sit here. You see, there's a, there's a nice chamfer in this area. It doesn't have it the other side. And this is going to sit um, toward you. So this first part sits here, and then you need a socket button uh, M3 screw. So you toss it in there, and uh, push it down. And try to tighten it. Okay, so the first side goes sits here and it gets tightened. Doesn't doesn't have to be too tight. We'll tighten it later. So that's the first side. The second side, this guy, same thing, but it's symmetric to the first part. Sand it a little. Make sure it's nice and clean. That looks bad. Again, uh, the chamfer is facing upward. Uh, so that's where the filament is extruded, it's going like this way. And then use a M16, M3, M3, 16 millimeter long. Has to be socket button, otherwise uh, you will have problems assembling the other parts. So this goes in and then it ends up to the second. Uh, second motor so I'm trying to get it there got it do not want to tighten all right so the first side is good then I want to install the remaining two parts so this is the bearing I'm using larger than standard bearings to get more contact um, so it, it doesn't fail that easy and uh, when you look at it, you, you notice that uh, the hole in the bottom, in the bottom, uh, it's, uh, it's tilting a little this side. I don't know if it's very clear. Yeah, it's, it's more toward this, this side. That means it's going to sit on this side of the printer. And uh, to secure it, you need a M3, 30 millimeters long. Put it in here. Go all the way through, and then tighten it. All right. So that was one side. The other guy, let's have a look at it. Again, this hole 
is this way so I can't use it for this guy I have to find a part yes this one so this one the hole is facing more this this side that means when it is here uh, the bearing is closer to the motor and I will tighten it using M3 again, M330 uh, good and uh, I should have installed this guy before I mount the motors but uh, can do it now so there's a little bit cut out in the motor and uh, this guy sits like this so the the screw is upper side slides right in if it doesn't then Lose this a little, push it down. Yeah, it's not gonna go. Sometimes you have to fight it a little. It may be exactly tight. Okay, there we go. And the second guy. So tighten, open this a little. And then again, the screw sits upper position, and then find the groove. This is the groove that goes in. And uh, uh, the idea is that this groove sits with the bearing, but we will have to adjust it once the extruder is done. So. Do not uh, do not tighten it too much because uh, the position will have to change. Oh, actually, I put this on the wrong side. Uh, take it out. Take it back in. Go all the way in. And yeah, just close the screw so it doesn't fall off. Done. So this is the extruder. Lower part assembly.